It was an emotional senior night in Lexington for a Lafayette High School lacrosse player. You see, he's fighting a rare cancer and serving as an inspiration to his teammates. LAX 18's Eli Gain joins us with Richie Ward's story. Thanks, Kevin. So every day, the average person probably has something to complain about because life is just too hard. Well, sometimes we forget how much harder life is for others. Richie Ward is one of them. His journey since 2014 has been tough, but you wouldn't even notice. His story is one you don't hear often. Take a look. Thursday night was a special one for Richie Ward and his family. He walked across the field on senior night for the Lafayette lacrosse team, where he even scored a goal in his final game. But moments like this weren't even imaginable five years ago. At the age of 13, Richie was taken to the hospital to have an MRI after having a seizure. That MRI revealed extra tissue on his brain. You go in, you take it out, it'll be no big deal. Just looked at the MRI. I think you're going to be okay. Don't stress over it. It's not going to be a huge deal. But it was. Richie had a tumor growing on the front lobe of his brain, which required two surgeries in a month to get it fully removed. He began radiation and chemotherapy treatments, and those treatments kept the tumor from growing back. Until June of last year, when it returned, requiring yet another surgery. And that's when Richie found out he had an extremely rare type of brain cancer. So I've got stage four glioneuronal and glioblastomal brain cancer. Um, one of 23 people in the whole world that have it. Just how little there was about it to be able to find made me understand how bad it was that I had gotten it. He hasn't been dealt the greatest hand, but Richie is taking everything in stride. He continues to get treatment while also going to school, working part time, and of course, playing sports. Playing lacrosse and stuff like that really helps me take out some of the anger I feel towards just how I've been set up for life. But it's not one of those, oh, I'm gonna go out here and because I'm upset about how my life is, I'm gonna hurt somebody else. It's more like just, oh, a filter for me to kind of go back and act like nothing's wrong. That is the biggest thing. You can't try to save their lives by not letting them have a life. He's got to be able to live his life on his terms so that no matter what happens, he's doing what he wants to do. Richie was given less than a 2% chance to make it where he is today after he was first diagnosed. But his battle isn't over. He had an MRI in March revealing that the tumor continues to grow. He will go and have his fourth brain surgery next Friday. You can follow his progress on Facebook at the page Team Miniback. And on that page is a link to a GoFundMe account to help the family. In the studio, I'm Eli Gain. Kevin, let's go back to you. Valiant young man. Thank you.